Welcome to the wonderful and exciting episode of Harvesting a Large Bin, or should I call it Mission Impossible? Uh, I have been preparing my European Nightcrawler bin, oh, I would say for well over a month to get it harvested. And these lazy bums are taking their sweet time migrating to the food. I'm feeding both sections here and here so they have, you know, a larger area to, uh, to go to. <clears throat> and meanwhile, I'm trying to come here and, you know, fluff up the, uh, the compost, get, uh, get it ready to go through the sifter. I have a 1 8 uh, inch sifter. And of course, there is a ton of cocoons and a ton of uh, babies all throughout. And they're just as happy as clams. And they're not going anywhere. So I developed a little system here that um, seems to be working for me it's it's this is not at all a fast way to do it but I took off all the paper that was on top this is my sifter uh, sifter baskets I have the quarter inch and then the one eighth inch at the bottom there that's to get all the cocoons and the eggs I set the material into here and then pick through the um, the cocoons and the and the babies and put them back in the bin. And then I dump the remainder into here. And that way, I I can save as many cocoons and, and babies as I can. But um, this has been a slow process. I had to uh, take off my bulky glove here and put on this sexy number because it's easier to, uh, to grab the worms and the cocoons with. And uh, yeah, this is, this is what I've been doing. And it's been really slow going. I just take a handful or two of the compost and I, I have the double uh, double sifter here and I sift it and all the larger pieces of course stay this is great showing it on camera with one hand right genius but uh, the larger pieces go right back right back in here and sometimes you can you can see the baby baby worms and sometimes they'll be at the other sifter this is where all the majority of the cocoons and the eggs i mean the um, baby worms are at so yeah i do this with both hands of course but right now, holding the phone to show you what I'm doing. And I'll do this for, you know, for, for a bit until I get tired, until my back gets tired, because I'm bending over this bin. And then I'll just cover it all up and come back to do it another day. But this is... This is what I do. I look this over carefully, make sure that uh, I'm not seeing any worms or cocoons here. And then I'll just take this whole thing and I'll dump it in here. Oops. And start again. And then when I'm done, I just cover this with a, a plastic uh, plastic bag to keep the moisture in. 
it's in the shade so it's fine uh, so is this so yeah this is what I've been doing and uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to the very bottom of all of this because like I said it is a large bin I've never harvested a 45 gallon bin and there is a lot of material and a lot a lot of cocoons they're everywhere babies cocoons so because I am so <laughs> obsessed with getting every single one that I see it really slows me down please don't be crazy like me if you're going to harvest you know but but that's just just the way I am so I'm going to continue to do this and when I'm done oh probably by next year I'll show you what I get thank you for joining me